Hey, good morning, EBC kids. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Bible. Happy Sunday. We get to come to church. We get to worship our Savior. We get to praise Jesus. We get to exalt Him and definitely get to get into His Word and grow as Christians. And today I want to do that with you just for a couple of minutes before church today to really get us into a heart of praising Him and worshiping Him. Really excited for today's devotion. We're in Colossians chapter 2, the book of Colossians chapter 2. The Bible says in verse 9, speaking of Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him which is the head of all, principality and power. We could keep reading and keep going. There are some big words there, so give me a couple of seconds, and let me just explain those things to you. That word Godhead in verse 9 is referring to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all three in one big Bible uh, phrase. We call that the Trinity. We don't see that word in the Bible, but... We, we call that the Trinity three in one. They are one God, yet three distinct persons. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And yet Jesus Christ is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Our Savior Jesus is God himself. He is God robed in flesh. He is God, but we could see him because God's a spirit the Bible says, book of John says, but it's Jesus that we can see. And so we could see God. But look at, at verse 10, and ye are complete in him. Hey, kiddos, today I want to tell you something. You're not missing anything apart from Jesus Christ. When you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the Word of God tells you you're complete in him. You don't need anything else to make your life complete. You don't need anything else. You have Jesus, and Jesus is enough. He is all that we need. We sing a song, Jesus is all the world to me. And he's even more than that. He's not just all the world. He is our all in all. We're complete in him. He's the head of all principality and power. We have the power of God in our lives because of Jesus. That is awesome. That is something to praise him for today. We're talking about praise all this week. Something to praise him for. God, thank you for making me complete in Jesus Christ. I don't know if you can tell. I'm kind of excited about this. We lose sight of the awesomeness of Jesus sometimes because we just go through the routines of life. Don't lose sight of Jesus. He's important. He is all that you need. You are complete in him. That means I don't need other things to make me satisfied in this life. I don't need other people to make me satisfied in this life. Now, God blesses us with things and God blesses us with people, but I don't need them to be complete. I'm complete in Jesus. You are complete in Jesus. Think about that today. Praise God for that today. I am am complete in him. In case you don't know what the word complete means, it means finished. It means everything that you need, you're there. To complete something is to finish it, to cross the finish line, to run fully and be done. I'm complete in Jesus. Guys, I love that. I'm excited to come together today to worship Jesus Christ. I pray you're going to be there with me. I'm excited for it all. Please continue to keep praying for Mrs. Lehman. She's still not feeling good. Uh, and God's going to do something. I know. I trust him. I believe him. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep, keep praying for God to work mightily. Let's pray together today for the word of God to be preached, that our hearts would be open to it. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, you're complete in Jesus. Father, thank you. Uh, thank you for Jesus. Lord, I can't thank you enough for Jesus. You are so good to us. Lord, we praise your name. We lift you up today because of Jesus. Lord, we only can enter into your throne room today because of Jesus. Lord, you're so good. I do think of my dear wife, and I pray you'd strengthen her and help her today. 
Continue to heal her from this nasty tooth infection. This thing going on, Lord. Uh, we don't know what it is. I know you do. I'm just trusting you completely for the outcome, knowing that you're going to heal and you're going to answer because you are a great God. Strengthen us today as we come together to worship you. Pray, Father, our spirits would be right. Our hearts would be right. We'd be ready to receive what you have for us to lift your name up in praise. I love you. Thank you in Jesus, our Savior's name. Amen. God bless you guys. See you soon.